With the release of Inventor 2019.2 and being a collection customer, one could think it might be a good time to show you some of the enhancements from the camp development team. In this video, we will talk about some of the turning enhancements and also the additional tool libraries that can be added to make your tool selection easier. We will start with a warning, one of the right kinds. There was a case on the post processor forum where a user was running into some issues with the work coordinate system and aligning it with the origin. The first update is that if you don't select your rotary axis, you get a warning just to make sure you're not skipping a critical step by mistake. Now, the Z selection will control the center of rotation, but we realized you need a second option, letting you control the actual depth of the Z direction. This can now be controlled with the selected point option found in the dropdown. Continuing in the setup menu for turning, there is a name change. The home position has been renamed to save Z, not as cozy of a name, but with some added flexibility. In the past, the home position was tied to the origin, but now it can also be connected with the stock front and stock back. But the development team did not stop there. They also made it possible to control this for each operation. So you can now override what was in the setup by going to the linking tab in whatever turning operation you like. This adds more flexibility for you to control how the tool moves to and from the workpiece. One more thing about Save Z, and this is thanks to Scott Moish. You should follow him on Instagram. He rightfully pointed out that we needed to do some cleanup and get our retracts in order, especially when it comes to turning of internal threads. Scott noticed that the option to end then retract on your final Z toolpath with internal threads is pretty unsafe. So now for return point, you can guarantee the tool will only go to the safe Z. New is also a couple of updates to X breaks. A multiple passes section has been added to the passes tab for turning chamfers. This gives you the option to create chamfers with a little more delicate step over. And then when parting off your part, you now have an option to round, chamfer or make a sharp corner. This could eliminate a second deburring operation by hand. Last, how about adding some more tool libraries to your arsenal? The team from Harvey Tool and Helical has created a selection of tools from tiny end mills that will let your machine get into a tight corner to high performance end mills that is the perfect marriage with those adaptive clearing toolpaths. Their entire tool selection is now available right inside of Inventor HSM. Open your browser and go to cam.autodesk.com forward slash HSM tools. Right there, served up is the download link. Now, to stuff this into your CAM library is easy. Right click My Library and select Open in Windows Explorer. Now you can just copy from your downloads folder to that location. There you go, you now have hundreds of new tools available. That is the highlights this time around. Appreciate everyone's feedback on the forums and on the idea station. Have an awesome day.